I'm a little late to the game with this, but given the kind of beer this is, a relaxed approach is perhaps best. Hello everyone, and welcome to John Drinks, the channel in which I, John, have a drink. And today I'm jumping on the bandwagon. This is Tint, Taint, Taint, Meadow. And it is the first English Trappist Ale. It's produced in Mount St. Bernard Abbey, near the Charmwood Forest. And, interesting story behind this, up until around about 2013, the guys that made this were not brewers, they, they were monks, but they were also... Uh, dairy farmers. Unfortunately, due to the increased cost in keeping cattle and the relatively low price point of milk, they ultimately decided that it was no longer a venture that they could keep up with. And for the past few years, they have been learning everything about brewing, including working with, I think, pretty much all of the Trappist breweries in Europe at one point. And this is the result. Um, for the full history, I'm actually going to link downstairs to a very interesting article that The Guardian have done on these guys. It's well worth reading. It's strangely relaxing. You'll get what I mean when you read it. One of the things I really love about this label, actually, it's sort of a watercolour affair, which I can totally believe has been hand-drawn at some point because it just kind of fits with these guys. But also, there's this very cool laser cutting at the bottom. I think that's supposed to be the valley, and then that is the actual monastery. So they recommend it to be drank like a fine wine, slowly. With this beer, we have returned to the 19th century traditions of brewing in our abbey. When our brethren arrived in 1835, they settled in a poor cottage on Taint Meadow, now an extension of our monastic enclosure. This strong dark ale re-ferments in the bottle, stored in a cool, dark, quiet place, pour gently at 9 degrees centigrade. I'm curious to see what these guys have done, because it does genuinely seem like a labour of love, and there's few products that I can genuinely say that about. Pours with a hearty head, it's a cloudy umber colour. What's the aroma? Mmm. Uh, chocolatey and fruity at the same time. Ooh. Detecting a little bit of alcohol burn on that, which isn't massively surprising given it is a 7.4%. What does England's first Trappist Ale taste like? It's very mellow and smooth. There's an initial chocolate hit, and it kind of mellows out to a raisiny stone fruit flavour. There is a lingering bitterness on the finish of that. Again, it's very much sort of a, an acidic coffee on the finish. Chocolatey notes kind of come through at the beginning and the end. The middle is very much the, the fruit. I'm not sure if it's just that I'm being influenced by the fact that it is a monastic brew, but um, there's something harmonic about this one. Have you guys had a chance to try this yet? It's... It's been doing the rounds quite a bit in the craft beer circles. It's very much made a name for itself very quickly. Comment down below if you've given this a go. Please let me know what your thoughts are on it. I know it's a bit of a divisive one, this one. Some people are loving it, some people are thinking it's a little bit flat. It has been recognised as an official Trappist Ale, so it's not just using the name, it's... Uh, it's legit. Thank you very much for watching. Uh, thumb the video if you enjoyed this review, or indeed any of the back catalogue. Do feel free to check them out as well. Uh, do subscribe to the channel as well if you're enjoying these. And uh, also, let me know if you've figured out what the A stands for yet. Because I haven't.